Hey Jujus and welcome back to another product review. I know it's been a while but I have a few coming your way. This one in particular is going to be about pacifiers, even more specific the Wubbanub and just a little bit of pacifier talk so if you are interested please keep watching. Okay y'all so Let's get straight into this product review and then we'll chit chat a little bit about pacifiers. So first I want to say that number one, when it comes to pacifiers, I would avoid pacifiers for the first four weeks. Um, if you're a mom of multiples, I would definitely use that at your leisure, but um, for the most part, I would avoid using pacifiers, bottles, anything like that, especially if you're trying to establish breastfeeding in the beginning, I would avoid them for the first month. So now that I have said that, let's get into this product review. So the product is the infamous Wubbanub, okay? And it comes in this cute box here. It's Wubbanub Infant Pacifier. It has the warning, of course, do not tie pacifier around child's neck, presents strangulation. This Wubbanub is baby's first friend. I find that to be true. Medical grade silicone pacifier, BPA, latex, and 5 phthalate free. Permanently attached pacifiers help prevent the missing pacifier problem. Distributed to hospitals nationwide. Alrighty, and all that info is here. And this pacifier is actually for zero to six months. So if you didn't know that, your Wubbanub is zero to six months. Anyway, so the Wubbanub itself, it is the kind of the basic hospital like pacifier, first pacifier with a stuffed animal attached to it. This one is the frog. We call him Ferdinand. We also have Ellie the elephant. Um, alrighty, so that's the Wubbanub. We get right into the cons. The cons would have to be it's a pacifier. So like I said, avoid using this for the first month because you want to avoid nipple confusion. Also, pacifiers can become a habit if used too much. Um, other than that, I don't see any direct cons. Uh, wait a minute. Yes, I do. Uh, washing this. It does get pretty yucky because when they start to eat, I don't know if you can tell, but Ferdinand's hands are kind of like, mm. -mm. But I wanted to show you that on purpose because it does get a little, you know, they have to have a bath. I do hand wash this. So that is one thing. So you, I would recommend hand washing it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the cons. The pros would have to be this little stuffed animal is like the perfect size and it really is like the box said your baby's best friend your first best friend because even if they don't really use the pacifier because Frankie he isn't big on the pacifier because I did not introduce a pacifier to him until he was probably three months and that's when the teething had kind of gotten intense so I noticed that he needed to like gnaw on something a little more than just me so um yeah I waited like a strong because I was anti-pacifier I was completely anti-pacifier. I was like, I would not have my baby walking around with a pinky in their mouth all the time. Not me. So I waited. I tried to hold out, but three months I saw he needed it. Um, so I introduced the Wubbanub to him. It is a nice weight, so it stays in place and on their chest. Um, when they do spit it out, you know, it's comforting. He likes to snuggle with the toy just to know that it's there. Doesn't even really use the pacifier. Um, with that being said, he is one next month. And he still, you know, carries Ferdinand and Ellie around. He doesn't really use them. I understand why it's zero to six months because that's when they start to form teeth and you don't want their gums to misform in the teeth. And then, yeah. So zero to six months is the age. I would not recommend it past then, but my son does still enjoy cuddling with his Wubbanub. Um... Yeah, so let me know in the comments, like this video, let me know in the comments if um, your child uses a pacifier, your takes on pacifier, if you're anti-pacifier, because I've been there. Um, yeah, other than that, this is kind of like a 
if you are in the car and it's like nothing you can do about it, like you could just kind of give them the pacifier. That's where we really introduced it because we saw he was teething in the car. We noticed like it was kind of like a soothing thing. Um, but other than that, he doesn't get the pacifier. Once he spits it out, that's it. I'm not putting it back or anything like that. So I would have to recommend this product. I would register for two of them. Um, yeah, the webinar. Like this video if you like the webinar. Leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. If you like my product reviews, my cook with me's, um, I will have some more of my job or career video videos coming up. I have more of those. So stay tuned for my next product review. See you next time.